What's up guys, my name is Brandon and exactly two weeks after releasing beta 1, Apple returns today with iOS 13.4 beta 2. Now I made a video last week about how awesome beta 1 is in terms of the new features and the new changes, but after using it for a while, I've also seen the bad side of it to remind me that I'm actually on a beta still. So of course in this video, we're going to talk about what's new in beta 2, but we're also going to talk about some of the bugs that were in beta 1, if they're fixed here in beta 2, as well as the performance and the battery life on both iOS and iPad OS. Now public beta testers should also be seeing this update soon. I will update the description when it is out for public beta users. We also got watchOS 6.1.3 released yesterday to the public for Apple Watch users. So we're gonna discuss that near the end of this video as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this and talk about iOS 13.4 beta 2. So you can see the size here on my iPhone 11 Pro came in at 460.5 megabytes, but of course that size will vary depending on your device and where you're coming from. You can see on my iPad Pro right here, the size was a little bit smaller coming in at 421.1 megabytes for iPad OS 13.4 beta 2. And as far as the build number goes, if we go ahead and check out the about section right here, 13.4, you can see the new build for this is 17E5233G. So we are a whole 10 builds higher than beta 1, so we should see a good amount of bug fixes in this update, and if we go ahead and scroll down a little bit further to the modem firmware, you can see there we're at 1.05. 0.25, so a nice little update there for the modem firmware version as well. So if you were having issues with LTE or connectivity in general, you could see a nice bump here in beta two. So now let's talk about what's new here in this update. So the first thing I noticed after using this is that the mail toolbar has been tweaked once again. So if we go into the mail right here, if we go into an email, take a look at the bottom toolbar, it is tweaked once again. So we now have a compose button on the right and this little action menu here that replaces places the flag button that was there previously. And if you guys don't know the difference, this is what it looked like on beta one. We had the action menu on the far right and we had flag right there. And then once again, here's what it looks like in beta two. So we have the action menu and compose new email here on the right. So Apple is continuing to tweak the mail application and especially that toolbar down there. It changed from 13.3.1 having two buttons to beta one having four and then beta two changing up the order and what these actions do down here in the toolbar. So Apple is definitely working on the mail application, which is nice to see because that's been the most complained about by far application in iOS 13. Now, another thing that's changed is in the Apple Music application. When you go to an album, RIP Pop Smoke, by the way, if we go down to the bottom right here, you can see we have other versions and it shows like the clean versions or you know a different kind like a remix version of the album it actually shows it now after going to that album instead of being very confusing and going to more by pop smoke down here it would just show the clean and the explicit and it would be kind of hard to differentiate which one was which and you would sometimes add the wrong one to your library so now it makes it very clear and easy to see the other versions of that specific album and that specific single so this was a server side update so you will see this on all versions of ios where you have apple music but i did just want to mention it because i use apple music a lot also in the find my application you can see we have a new loading icon here in 13.4 beta 2 on the right hand side and also the little plus right there where it says share my location has been filled in whereas it was not in previous versions of iOS. Now, another thing I wanna mention is that in iOS 13.4 beta one, using a mouse, an external mouse on my iPad, on iPad OS 13.4 beta one was super smooth. But with beta two, it gets even smoother. It's very, very fluid now, especially when compared to 13.3 and 13.3.1, it's a very noticeable difference. So if you use a mouse on your iPad, or if you stop using it a while back because it's not as smooth as you wish, I can tell you now it is definitely smoother in 13.4. Now, if you were having issues with the settings application crashing, I saw a lot of people mention this in my comment section and on social media. That has definitely been fixed here in 13.4 beta two. I've not seen one person report on it. I never had the issue, but everybody that did have it has said that it has been fixed here in beta two. Now, I've also had a lot of people show interest in the upcoming car key feature where it was referenced in 13.4 beta one, the API was referenced. And basically car key is just going to allow you to unlock your car with your phone if your car has NFC built into it. And a lot of people were asking me about it and if we're gonna see it soon, I don't know. And I've searched everywhere in 13.4 beta two for any kind of reference to car key in the actual OS, not just the API. And I did not find anything. So you guys know though, I will keep you updated once I find anything new about car key. Now, when it comes to bugs, by far the most annoying bug and the most popular bug in 13.4 beta one was the stacking of notifications, the overlapping 
of notifications in the notification center. So you can see here how it just briefly overlaps and it looks very clunky. It just does not look very clean. You could definitely tell you're on a beta version, which is kind of annoying. I mean, obviously you're on the beta program, but still you don't like to see things like this on the lock screen. And I was facing this, and I did test this out and I can tell you guys that it's fixed here for me in beta two. So I tested this with Twitter notifications and YouTube notifications and found that it was fixed. Now I did not do messages because previously in beta one, I never had an issue with overlapping of messages for some reason, but I did have it with like Instagram and some other applications as well. But for me, that has been fixed. So if you had that issue, test it out on beta two and let me know in the comment below if your overlapping notifications have been fixed. Now, another bug that's even more annoying than overlapping notifications is the Instagram audio bug. So for some reason, this is still persisting through multiple versions of iOS. This goes back to like, I believe like iOS 13.2 or 13.3, basically, Instagram, when you go into Instagram and play a video, when you go out of the application, you'll continue hearing the audio will just play randomly. Sometimes when you're on a phone call, sometimes when you go into another application, you will just hear the audio from that Instagram video. And it is super, super annoying. I've also had numerous people comment that they're still having this as well. I thought it was fixed in 13.4 beta one, but shortly after making the video, <laughs> I started getting it again. So super annoying. Apple, please, please fix this. I don't think it's an issue with Instagram. I think it's an issue with iOS at this point. Now, somebody left a comment in my last video saying the mail app issue is back. It shows a number, but not the emails on 13.3.1. And I'm having connectivity issues on Wi-Fi. One more thing, messages read on iPhone are not being marked read on the Apple Watch and especially non iMessage ones. And a lot of people agreed with this. They, you know, liked the comment. So I'm assuming a lot of people also have this issue. So the mail issue where he's talking about is back and shows a number, but not the emails. So basically it will show like you will have like, say you have zero unread right here. So if that badge turned to like three messages and then you go into the mail application and there's not three new messages. So basically he's saying that that's an issue. And I've seen multiple people talk about this as well. But for me and for people I've seen on forums as well, this has been fixed in beta two. So now when you actually see you get a new email and you go into email, you will actually have a new email and it won't just show that you have a new email and be bugged out. But as far as the messages issue he had, I've not had that, so I cannot confirm or deny that that's been fixed. But if you were having that, let me know in a comment below if that's fixed in beta two. Now, another annoying bug in beta one was with Safari and some Safari pages just would not load. And the only way to get them to load would be to completely close out of the app and open it back up. And then your pages would start loading and you could reload and actually use Safari like expected. But in beta two, I've not had that issue one time. So if you were having issues with Safari and it not reloading until you closed out and forced closed out of the application, I can tell you right now that's been fixed in beta two, thankfully, since I'm sure all of you guys use Safari quite a bit. I also wanted to give you guys an update on iCloud folder sharing. So I've not had any issues with this. This was a new feature in 13.4 beta one. We heard about it for a while, but I have been able to use it for quite a bit and test it out and see if there's any bugs. And it seems like everything's running perfectly fine. I can add people in, multiple people. And when I have these share options right here for view only and can make changes, everything works as expected. So no issues whatsoever with iCloud folder sharing thankfully also if you were having the SSL issue inside of Safari that has also been fixed here in beta 2 I know that was an issue that a few people reported in beta 1 but I have tested it and tried to reproduce it and I cannot so I believe that has been fixed here in beta 2 as well and as far as performance and battery life goes there's really not much to talk about here performance on beta 1 was perfectly fine for me except for some of the bugs I had especially with Safari and Instagram but overall, in terms of performance and raw speed and opening apps and playing games and things like that, everything was running perfectly fine. And I would expect beta two to be exactly the same. I would not expect any kind of big performance jumps on a 0.4 release. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life for me in beta one and beta two has been perfectly fine. Of course, beta two just came out, so I can't test it, but I'm assuming it's gonna be exactly the same as beta one. However, Vaughn here in my last video said, battery is dying a bit faster and charging faster than usual. I don't know if it's just me, iPhone 10s Max, by the way. So if you're having this issue where your battery's dying faster and charging faster than normal, let me know if you're having this issue. Uh, apparently some people are as well. 
So hopefully beta two does fix that. But for me, battery life has been perfectly fine. Now, if you have the Apple watch and you're on the beta program, watch OS 6.2 beta two was also released today. But if you're not Apple released watch OS 6.1.3, yesterday to fix some bugs and you can see right here in the change log it says a very specific bug that was squashed with 6.1.3 it says including a fix for an issue that prevented the irregular heart rhythm notification from working as expected for apple watch owners in iceland so if you're in iceland watching my videos and you had that issue that has been fixed now of course that's not the only thing that was fixed in this update you can see right there it's 113 megabytes for my apple watch series 5. of course that size will vary depending on where you're coming from but there were also some other performance and probably some battery life fixes, some security fixes as well in the back end. So if you have a Apple Watch, just know that the update came out yesterday for the public and a new beta was released today if you are on the beta program. And if you guys want me to mention the Apple Watch and watch us more in my videos, let me know down in a comment below. I don't really see too many people talking about it. So if you do want me to cover this more, let me know in a comment below. Now going back to iOS 13.4 beta two, I did just want to mention another issue that I ran into. I didn't want to mention this in the beginning just because I didn't want to waste your time and it may not apply to everybody, but I did see a lot of people, myself included, facing this issue right here. So I was not able to install the update for a while because it said unable to verify update. iOS 13.4 developer beta two failed verification because you are no longer connected to the internet where I was actually connected to the internet and I could go into Safari, I could do everything. I was connected to the internet, but for some reason, Apple would not allow me to install the update no matter what I did. So eventually I had to just delete the update and reinstall it and then it was able to go through. So for some reason I was having that issue and a lot of people were as well, but I did just wanna mention it just in case maybe you guys were running into that issue as well. Just know that deleting it from your storage, if you go into settings, general, and then iPhone storage, you can delete the update from there and then just reinstall it and it should work just fine. So yeah, that's pretty much all I found so far for iOS 13.4 beta two. If you guys found anything else that's new or changed, or if you have any comments to make on the connectivity, the performance or the battery life, let me know down in the comment below. Of course, I do like mentioning you guys in the video as well. So you may see your name in future videos if you do let me know how your experience has been now should you update to ios 13.4 beta 2 and if you're on beta 1 right now it's a no-brainer obviously you do want to update to beta 2 to fix a lot of the issues to have a more stable os and not have some of those annoying bugs that you may have had in beta 1 but if you're on ios 13.3 or below and you're looking to jailbreak obviously you do not want to update to ios 13.4 in general so that you can jailbreak your device so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video or at least the sound of my voice if you did i would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and of course make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming follow-up video here on beta 2 that will be out within the next few days or maybe on monday at the latest where i'll talk about all of the bug fixes and if i found anything new in the software things like that you know how it goes here on the channel but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon